It's true though. Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I? You gonna look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Grow up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Shit. what are we at? Are we gonna like turn this up? Turn it up. T- turn turn it, it up. Oh, uh, but we need to move ourselves down a little bit to turn it up. No rocket, don't stop it. Got a rocket, don't stop. Keep taking and talking. Work it all around the clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy, coming at you with another fucking track. Um, I do the smack attack. Coming at you again, it's your boy, uh, Skinny Penis. <laughs> what up? Oh, I forgot we were recording. Uh, my penis is fat. <laughs> I have a fat penis. <laughs> it's not healthy. No. I got an obese penis. <laughs> an obese <laughs> obese. <laughs> oh man, can we put that at the, in the beginning of the video? Because it's like less than a minute. I don't know if we can do that. What if we just cuss this bus storm and see what they say? Just, just no see. money, <laughs> no money. <laughs> I just want to see what we can get away with. But we already said Obina, so <laughs> I guess we'll find. I guess we'll find what out. If that's just the only thing I put at the beginning. Obinus. <laughs> put it in nice bold captions. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Well, it's like we were in harmony first. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Pub Crew. I don't know why I went <laughs> Dracula with it. It's not even like spooky season. Because <laughs> it's always spooky time here. You're right. It's always spooky time here at uh, uh, Pub Crew. And uh, we hope you've been having a great week. Uh, we had a great week. Well, I don't want to assume. But like yesterday was super fun. So <laughs> It made up for the week. Oh, okay. That's I mean, good. The rest of the week was like shit. No, I feel that. Work sucks. I feel that a lot. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> she left me roses by the stairs. Surprises let me know she cares. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Go I do some blow. Go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know why I'm still stuck Can we get on that, that blow? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clarence. <laughs> Nah, he's not holding. He's anymore. rolling he's around. Clean. It. <laughs> that's he's why clean. He's so as you white. look over him, he just <laughs> yeah. That's why he's so white. <laughs> <It's just> like... <laughs> Anyways, we're not. Now you're not talking about cocaine. We're not doing all that stuff uh, again. Hope you've been having a great week. We're kind of low energy, um, but that's just because we were uh, having some drinks yesterday, and it was super fun. Um, a lot of fun times. Good crazy times. shit. Yeah, Good times. <laughs> it was fun. That's not what we're gonna talk about today, though. <laughs> we just wanted to let you know. <laughs> you gotta pay for that story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with beer. <laughs> and then speaking of beer, what are we drinking today? Oh yeah, I forget we do that. Yeah, and I forgot. Oh yeah, we have like headphones on because we're just monitoring ourselves, monitoring, monitoring. Yeah, we're lizarding ourselves. Yeah. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> I don't, oh I don't know if I... Oh, my God, that reminds me. I, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I made out with a lesbian. When? Um, Like, back in high school. Oh. Well, like, I, thought, well, I thought you meant, like, yesterday. Oh, I was no. Like, when, did, when did we meet a lesbian yesterday? Yeah, and I was like, well, did I lose track of you for, like, an hour or something? Yeah. <laughs> no, this was back in high school. That just oh. reminded me of it. Um, <laughs> Were they a lesbian then or they're have... a lesbian now? No, then oh. as well, yeah. Oh. Well known. Gotcha. Um, I was wondering, like, was it like, did you know then, or was it like, no? But oh. um, it was weird. Uh, gotcha. It got a little bit past that, but I don't want to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> it just reminded me of it, and I was like, wait, what? Because oh, like God. lizarding. Well, hold on. I want to. I don't want to go down this path. <laughs> Is that what got you to thinking about? Yeah. It? Why did lizarding get you down this path? Because that was her like nickname. Oh, oh god! I thought I thought Lizzie. it had something to do with what you guys That's did. Like Lizzie. Oh, okay. That yeah. makes. It's not as bad as I thought. Where this... I hope I hope she doesn't see this. 
Anyways, we're super off topic. I just thought lizarding was going to be something like, yeah, we did lizarding. And I was like, oh, <laughs> what, what is that? Is that, is that where like... you guys just like lay on top of each other and just <laughs> hang there? <laughs> That's why I was like, why did lizarding oh, yeah. make you think about this? Yeah, what the fuck, man? That was weird. It's like you unlocked a core memory. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for joining us on this episode of Pub Crew. We're going to so drink anyways, beer back now. to the fucking beer. Yeah. My God. <laughs> we have <laughs> Half-Life by uh, Manhattan Project Beer Co. Dallas, Texas. It's a hazy IPA. 6.2 alcohol. Nice. So I'm definitely going to like this. Um, Texas beers. Um, usually pretty good. You're going to have to hold it again. <laughs> Thank you. Nice and shook for you. Yeah, yeah. Just like your stories. <laughs> I mean, they left me shook. Are you kidding me? I was like, dude. Oh fuck! I didn't film as much as I thought. It was, it was like a like a three prong remembrance. Like I remembered something that reminded me of something that reminded me of that, and I was like, dude, this is. <laughs> what I feel like it's important <laughs> to say it enough out loud because I made a huge face. Um, but yeah, I hope she's having a great time. She'll hope she's having a great life. Are you, uh, still, are you still on about this? Yes, because I have the mic and you don't. <laughs> you can't talk. Uh, shit. Yeah, that was kind of shook. Um, what is this? Oh. Does it say like any crazy shit about it? I like it when it says crazy shit about it. Go ahead and pour yours so I can read this. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Half Life is always a crowd favorite. It's complex enough for the most experienced craft beer drinker, but balanced enough to convert anyone that doesn't typically enjoy IPAs. Hey, so this one's for me. The citrus and stone fruit characteristics with the delicious aroma will keep you coming back for more. It's pretty low on the bitterness scale, which is good for for an IPA. Well, it's a hazy IPA. It says it pairs well with lemon, sun, and fries. Fuck, I want some fries now. Dude, some lemon pepper fries? Oh, Dude. oh okay, so we're going to end this show to get some... We got, we got to we'll come right back. Yeah. <laughs> Just a mountain of fucking yeah. lemon pepper fries. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed anything different about the set. <laughs> yeah, super sick. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we're going to have to fucking get some food after this. Um, I'm down. Uh, I'm ready to try it, man. It fucking looks nice. It looks like a... It smells good. Yeah. Bro, it, looks, it smells fucking hazy. And remember, you don't have to drink to chill with the pub crew, but it helps. Yup. <laughs> Maybe you'll remember a weird fucking memory. <laughs> wow. I remembered I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice today. Uh, that's actually like super. I don't want to say plain is the wrong word, but it's plain? like plain is oh, not plain. the right word. Yeah, but it's it's very like simple. Like it's not. It doesn't have like crazy hops. It doesn't have like crazy no. flavors. There's no not like super like. I want to say like citrusy. Like you know what I it's mean. It's a like, little citrusy. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not. It's yeah. not crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's ve- like like it's balanced. That was like, they put it on their fucking can. That's the word. It's they balanced. It's it. so balanced, man. It's like a fucking Rodney Mullen doing a fifty fifty. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty balanced. Yeah. <laughs> There's like two people who listen to this shit that are over thirty that are like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I know that guy. Hey, I fucking get that reference. Yeah. <laughs> he was in Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's also the same people that are like, I don't understand the other shit you're talking about. <laughs> Go back to the beer. <laughs> we read a fine line. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It is good though. Yeah, after yesterday. Fuck yeah. Who man. <laughs> Yee I will say that I did go and see uh our last guest trash packet and the band i'm trying to get next 
uh, minor in cryptozoology. Uh, they had a show for uh, Zeke's uh, birthday. Shout out to Zeke. Uh, had a great time, man. The fucking show was awesome. <laughs> um, I think John found his like or refound his like rekindled his calling for like for like videography because he started like recording the bands. Oh yeah, dude, I saw his like he was like posting uh stories and shit. Yeah, and like snaps of it. Yeah, and it was and like he was going all around the. He yeah. was exploring the studio space. He was really filling it up with the metaphorical cowbell. Yeah. It was, it was cool. Yeah, like, I, I can tell he definitely enjoyed himself mm-hmm. in more, more more ways than one. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite was when Brianna was on her phone, and Zeke just went like right up to her because she was like in front of the band on her phone, and he just went up to her and he was like like that, and he's just singing and shit, and he's just, she's just on her like face and shit, and she doesn't she doesn't she looks up and then she goes back to like texting, and I'm like. <laughs> What the fuck, man? Like, <laughs> You're at a fucking yeah. show. Just get the fuck off your phone. You can, you can talk to fucking hoes later, man. Have some fucking respect. Like, it'd be one thing, like, in John's case, where he was legit, like, recording everything. Like, he was, like, filling the room with the mm-hmm. camera. Yeah. It, it was pretty good, like, when he was filming. So, yeah. like, th- there was that, like, recording that shit, and, like, he was still having a good time. He was still jamming mm-hmm. out while doing it. Yeah. But, like, to stand there in front of a band, right in front of a band. Right in front of the band. Not even, like, going out, not even moving, not, like, whatever. You're right in front of the band, and yeah. you're just on your phone. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. It was super funny. Uh, was she doing it out of spite after that? <laughs> I don't remember. I was having too much fun. I started skanking for a while. I went. I was talking to Trash Baguette. I was talking to uh, random people. I met a bunch of people that night. Uh, how I'm a, cool. I'm a social butterfly, man. Yeah, you are. Are you just yeah, figuring that yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. I, I, because yeah. I'm. I think about it like, man, I met like five people yesterday. That's a lot of people. Yeah, that's like one hand. That that is one hand. I can't remember all those names. <laughs> I remember three, and I'm not gonna say which three, so they can all guess <laughs> if they ever hear. They're this gonna have shit. to fight amongst themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! But I told I tell everybody I'm terrible with names, so it's not a a big deal when yeah, no, I forget. I'm, I'm fucking terrible with names yeah. too. Like unless I said it like three times during mm-hmm. a conversation, I'm not gonna. remember Or somebody it. makes it a point to remember your name for like a either a funny reason or a specific reason or like yeah. If your name is like out there, like that's more likely that I'll remember. Yeah. Like if if it's not a name that I just hear all the time, but man, I'm so terrible. Yeah. Like I hate it. <laughs> But it's fun. Uh, yeah, so the show is fun. Shout out to them. We'll try to get them on the show. I'm trying to see if we can just record them, like, on some space. You know what I mean? Like, like, like for the show, like, just have musical guests for the show. I feel like that'd be crazy. I don't feel like a lot of podcasts do that. You mean, like, have them perform? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, we'll have them on the show to, like, talk, but have, like, 15, 20 minutes, like, just them playing. Like, uh, what is it? Like, the, the late night shows? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Have we'll, them on, we'll and, be then, the, and then now... A minor in cryptozoology, or trash, trash baguette, baguette, or uh, my band, or D12, <laughs> or... And now wrote it, and you just get up and walk. Yeah. <laughs> just press play. <laughs> just a hologram of you. Oh, it's yeah. How bougie, oh, yeah. It's how bougie you are. We can get Shadow Valley. We can get... Oh, there you go. We can get Ronin. Go. We can get a Buddha Combo. It'd be fun. I don't, I don't know about uh, Buddha Combo's availability. Yeah, yeah that's I true. He, he's, a, he's a recluse. It's true. Yeah, but it'd be super fun to to try out different shit and see, see how it goes. I definitely want to get more into using this mixer to its full capacity. You know Hells what yeah, I mean? Bro. Hells yeah. It's going to be super sick. But sorry, we, we've just been talking about us and the show and what we're going to do. So I hope you enjoyed that. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell us about your day. Yeah. Put it down in the comments. That or, sucks. Or send a message to us on our social medias. Mm-hmm. Like say, uh, say like Goosehead. Let us know if you like message. pancakes or waffles. Yo, oh, yeah. I, wait, where do you stand on that? Have we talked about that? No. Okay. I doubt it. Do you, where do you stand on that? 
I, I like me uh, pancakes. Okay. For me, it, 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 I, I'm fucking uh, cheating the question. You because I like... I like. You can't just answer the fucking if question. If it's like, if it's like a really good, like m- goodly made item, real goodly, <laughs> Re- really goodly like. <laughs> yeah, I prefer waffles. A good waffle will always beat a good pancake to me, but a That's mediocre true. pancake will always beat a mediocre waffle. Okay. That's that's how I see it. So the but, only good waffle is a good waffle. Yeah, I feel like you need to have like a good waffle maker and you have to be like actually like taking a look at the timings and when it's nice and golden and shit like that. Like mm. then like a, a waffle is good and it, it's better than a pancake. But if it's just like any old regular pancake or any old regular waffle, pancake yeah. is going to taste better. Yeah, that's true. I can actually agree with that. Okay, that's not cheating the question. That's just having a preference. That was yeah. like that was legit the question. <laughs> yeah, you know? like it, of course, if the waffles made right, it's gonna be great. Yeah, and it's just because it's it's more. I feel like it's it's more rare to, for people to make waffles in the morning. So when it's like a really good waffle, it, it's kind of like an event. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's it's you like bring a, the whole fucking town yeah, down to make this exactly waffle. the biggest waffle of all time. That's why. Well, at least every fucking uh hotel when i was working out of town in texas it was uh they had the the waffle makers that are texas shaped oh oh what that's yeah, cool it's like that was like a common thing i found in my yeah you can go make that in the morning <laughs> nice you know what if it's shaped like texas i think it's better <laughs> a texas shaped waffle is better than a, any other than state any other wa- <laughs> shaped pancake a, fo- a, a florida shaped oh, pancake <laughs> There's not a, there's not enough space. You can't add syrup on that. It's like it's not gonna it's yeah. not gonna work. Who who even? <laughs> nice little Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, It'd be fun. Let us know if you would eat food shaped like steak. <laughs> what would be your favorite one? <laughs> yeah, I know. I definitely hate Idaho. <laughs> Why? There's a bunch of hoes in there. <laughs> Oh man, it's too bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Wisconsin, because there's so much cheese in Wisconsin. The fuck's wrong with cheese <laughs> on your pancake? Oh, I'm not gonna say no, only because I, I haven't tried it. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know what? You're right. I can't talk shit about I'm it. I'm sorry for being I've so closed minded. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. You can't have that kind of mindset. Mm-hmm. You, you can't I mean, talk shit about it until you drink, you've tried it. You drink milk with pancakes sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's not it's weird. It's dairy ish. Milk. I mean, they're totally different, but it's still dairy ish. I think. Well, because like it's like bread, right? And then yeah, and it's usually it's sweet, so you could have like milk with well, that. Actually, so that kind of complements. You, you're usually right because the Americans did create the monstrosity known as the McGriddle. And that sure. has like a big ugly piece of rubber cheese on there. I'm not talking shit about it. I'm just calling it like I see it. You're not wrong. Yeah, but it's I'm that, not saying that. that I'm not saying that I haven't had it. Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying. I'm not saying I haven't had just one. Exhibit B. <laughs> <laughs> I've had many just to make sure. <laughs> They it's, apparently they uh, I only know this through Funhouse because I was watching them, but uh, apparently they they make a uh, chicken McGriddle now. Yes. That, what the fuck? Uh, uh, good old Mickey D's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I saw that the other day. Yeah. And I was like, do do I just give me the do sausage? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do I want to try that? Because I was like, oh, uh, Corker was getting breakfast. So he's like, yeah. "Hey, I'll get breakfast." And I go, "Hey, let me get that. Let me get the McGriddle." He goes, "Which what? Like, what do you want? Like sausage, bacon, or chicken?" And I was like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, chicken's an option." I was like, "I, I'm tempted, Why but I have I want... to work the rest of the <laughs> Why day." Why would I want chicken and waffles? <laughs> um, like, but with pancake and through McDonald's, <laughs> like those those things don't add up. Those are all like the lowest tier yeah. of anything that you could get of those versions. <laughs> <laughs> so you, i don't know what you're expecting out. that's why i was like do i really want to start my day with this just give me the sausage one. <laughs> let's just stick to what i know 
<laughs> I can I can work with that at the very least. <laughs> I still haven't tried it though. No. Yeah, me neither. I actually don't like Mickey D's. I don't. Oh, did you ever get your spicy honey chicken? Oh, biscuit? I did, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, Thanks I for had bringing it. that up. I yeah. had it too. Like maybe like the day or day after that. Yeah. We were talking about it, I finally mm-hmm. I woke up early enough that I was like, I can get it. There's time. <laughs> hell yeah it's pretty good oh yeah i woke up early and i was like oh man i don't want to make food like i'm feeling fucking like i'd rather go drive out and get food i need to get out of this place uh (laughs) you're a better man than i am i'm usually like oh i'm up early enough yeah i can still order breakfast yeah no yeah i just i always make it a point to like step outside for a few minutes and if it's like oh if you're gonna like go driving like go get breakfast or something i'm like i enjoy that um, that's usually how I start my day. It's like gotcha. I soak in the sun, like go touch grass for my, a sec. My, <laughs> my day job, I am in the sun all oh, yeah, fucking that, that's, day already. Yeah, I'm just done with it. Yeah, no, <laughs> oh, my I days get off. That. I'm like, I just yeah. want to my cave. Yeah, well, just, yeah, that's because I do office shit, so it's fucking like yeah, it's the opposite. Yeah, yeah. it's like you're, my mind's just racing. And it's fucking just want to go stand outside and look at pretty things, man. Like McGriddles? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful McGriddles. Man, I would actually wish I could meet the photographers that do all the food stuff. Because I would just, like, follow them around. I would go to their shoots and just be like, how do you do it? What do you and mean? what do you use? Like the, like the, the, the commercials? commercials? Yeah. Have you seen those? Yeah. Behind I've seen some of them. Crazy. Yeah. They're, like some, Sometimes I'm like, wow, you really use that? Like... That's not even food. Like, that's, you know not. what I mean? It's so crazy. Um, I love how stuff is made. Um, I always used to, like, watch how it's made when I was in college. Like, yeah. like super late at night. And when I was doing extra cur- cur- like, fuck, curricular activities, I can't talk today. I'm dying. Circumference. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it was super fun just to watch how everything was made and then I went online and started watching like behind the scenes on a bunch of shit, and one of them was um, the commercials and the food stuff. Yeah, and I was like, man, like they really sell you on this shit. They go by through any means necessary to make this look the best. It's fucking crazy yeah. the links they go to, man. Mm-hmm. Like the way they stack some of the burgers and shit, and the way they even show like pizza. Like I think that's the one that baffled me was like the way they pull out the slice of pizza and it's like all the gooey cheese and it's like yeah. oh like they got that stretch but you tell me the last time you ordered pizza from that pizza place mm-hmm. and it ever did that yep because it doesn't yeah but they were great at selling it to you right mm-hmm. yeah man i forgot what they used it was like it wasn't um, like just like cheese it was no. like some some like crazy Blue. yeah Okay, yeah, that's what it was. It was like fucking color glue. glue. Yeah. yeah, that they like blended with cheese and something, and then like they yeah. mixed it and like legit put it on the sides, mm-hmm. and then just. Yeah, that's a fucking. That's so gross. Man. It's amazing. Yeah. Fucking product <laughs> advertising is insane. I wonder if anybody's ever like tried to like eat that. Like somebody just walking by, it's like, oh, that looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just. Uh. <laughs> They're like, hey, it's it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a try. You don't you won't know it till you try it. You can't talk shit about it unless you've tried it. Is there, is there like horse meat in this? <laughs> <laughs> it tastes, tastes a little horsey. A little horsey. <laughs> it tastes a little gamey. Tastes tastes taste, taste like horse. Not that I've had horse, but it tastes like what I would think horse would taste like. Tastes like glue. <laughs> I, I know what that tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I associate <laughs> horse meat tasting like. <laughs> Is that it tastes like glue. <laughs> oh man, I I actually never ate glue as a kid, but I was the the fucking weird kid that put it on like his hands and like slowly evolved into like the the soles of my feet and like other weird places that you would put leave the glue on you and then like rip like rip it off like a film. I was legit gonna jump in and say, you weren't weird, Vic. Every kid did that. And then you continued with you put it in the soles of your feet, yeah. And everywhere else, and I go, all right. Like I would, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would. I think that's why my hands are so soft because I was super obsessed with that, and like I always like rub my hands and shit like that, so it just yeah. like, fucking smooths everything out. 
um, trying to lose all my fingerprints. <laughs> um, just kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> um, or is it? Yeah. But yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I was just, it, it felt cool. Like, I felt like a fucking snake. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, just like shedding. You, you shed that second skin. Yeah, it was super sick. And um, yeah, the, the teacher got mad one time. because <laughs> That's all I was doing. And I was like, <laughs> and like, you would try to get like some movie, like, movie worthy peel you know what i mean yeah, like oh yeah yeah and it's like oh, super yeah. slow and it look it actually looks like like you're tearing off skin or some shit like that it's just like oh go to your friend <laughs> Stick it to me. i'm a reptile <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. you eat it in front of him to show dominance oh yeah <laughs> oh wait i don't eat glue though <laughs> no, that wasn't me <laughs> no no no, I actually never ate glue. I did other dumb shit. Not even to assert dominance? No. Oh. I've... All right, then. Sl- fucking smack somebody to assert dominance. <laughs> I, was, I didn't instigate it. It was just... um, I had brought... A tra- That's something an instigator would say. <laughs> uh, I had brought a Charmander to class. Um, I never took it out during class. Like I just loved Charmander. And it was like the light-up toy. Oh okay, and um, like I I was I just wanted to play with it during recess, right? But like my backpack was open, some other guy saw it, and he like took it out, and then he was like he fucking like ratted me out to like the teacher, like if I was playing with the toy, you know, and he wouldn't give it back, and the teacher was like I need to step out for something, <laughs> and then it all just devolved from there. Like he wouldn't give it back, I got pissed. And then he he tried to like trip me or some shit like that. I forgot what was going on, um, because I was gonna go walk and like I was just gonna walk away and like tell the teacher and shit like that, you know. And then um, I remember he tried to trip me or some shit, and, and he like I caught myself like on the table, and then like I just look went back, I looked back at him, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Well, I didn't say what the fuck. I was a kid. I was like, dude. <laughs> you could say what the fuck is a kid. <laughs> well, you knew me as as a child, so I don't know if, if that was in my repertoire back then. No, but it wasn't. Yeah, no, <laughs> but it was pretty much like a dude. And then, like, I just got pissed, and, like, I had anger issues as a kid, so I was just, like, done with it at that point. Yeah. And I, like, smacked him, and, like... Like that was it. Like he, like he, fucking dropped the toy, and he, like, fucking started crying and shit like that, and, like, I was like, I'm the one that got a trouble. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, like, <laughs> and I'm the asshole. yeah. And like nobody in the class was gonna say shit. Like they're all fucking little kids. What the fuck do they know? <laughs> fuck you gonna do better? Yeah, You're just a little kid. Yeah, You're a little kid. Yeah, but you're a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like nobody told them what happened. Oh, yeah, you yeah. know, nobody told them the story because they're all just little. We were all just little kids, and they yeah. they were in their own world. They're like, we didn't see anything. Blah blah blah. You know, or they were just like his friends that uh, were like lying and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was. I it was just. I don't know. It just reminded me of that. Um, getting personal today on Pub Crew, <laughs> Victor's stories of uh, elementary and yonder. Tell me where the trauma started, Vic. Uh, actually, that's actually really funny because. <laughs> um is it is it funny that we're talking about trauma yeah because i Shit. actually uh choked on the umbilical cord and i almost died when i was getting uh birthed out holy fuck we're getting really personal today aren't yeah we? <laughs> well you asked so I um <laughs> i was told that at a way too young of an age because oh. they were like you're a miracle baby you were born on december 24th and you had this happen to you and i'm like what like I don't even know what a uterus is, man. <laughs> a uterus? <who? Yeah. laughs> but yeah, like it was like, what's umbilical? And you know what I mean? Like, and when do you get the core? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So they told me that shit. And I think that kind of fucked me up. <laughs> like, no, As a kid? knowing that, like, I was like, oh, mortality. You know what I mean? Like, I could have died as, as a, a kid. Yeah. Someone coming up to you. Every day forward is a blessing. Yeah. Use these days wisely. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah. huh? Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? I just want to yeah. play with my Charmander. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to play with my Charmander. This is back a fucking kid that doesn't give it back to me. Uh, <laughs> you throw this shit on my plate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, it was 
it was it was a trip. I think that really yeah. changed my outlook on life, man. Yeah, that would fuck up anybody. I mean, especially a kid, like being told that. <laughs> count your blessings. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, you're lucky you're alive right now. And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, that's when I became funny. <laughs> Holy it shit. It was like a, like a superhero origin story, man. <laughs> that's like dark humor right yeah. there. No, that's yeah. subtle dark humor. Right but there. I remember, <laughs> I remember like fourth grade, fifth grade, because that must have been around the time I was told. Third grade was around there when mm-hmm. I was moving to El Paso, actually. Um, it must have been like right before that or right after that because I remember during third grade and fourth grade um, they had like the beanstalk things where you had to grow a bean and you had to like oh, yeah. like, like record little, it like yeah little the little cup or some yeah, shit. yeah 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 like you start off in a paper towel and then yeah. it sprouts yeah yeah um, <laughs> I we did that and by like week two I was like dude like it's just gonna die like nothing matters like it doesn't matter. And my teacher got really concerned at that point. <laughs> and, um, like, I think they took me to go see a psychologist and wanted and stuff like that because we couldn't afford it to go here. Uh, oh. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, the doctor was like, yeah, I think your fucking son has, like, anger issues. And he's, I don't know. he's fucking... How's that anger issues? Well, no, like, when I – because I kept going to the therapist and, like, I would tell him, like, why I would – like, I've had, like, short outbursts and shit oh. like that. Like, oh, okay. like Pretty much, like, I went to him, like, a couple of times, more than a few times, you know? And it kind of just got to the point where, like, yeah, like, your son might be depressed, <laughs> but he definitely, like, like, he focused more on the anger shit. He didn't fucking give a shit about the, the part where I felt like I was nobody and nothing in I the universe. I think it's because that was a time where, because, like, now people actually acknowledge depression in yeah. kids. Mm-hmm. Before it was, people didn't want to talk about that. Yeah, people he'll grow think, out of it. Yeah. Like, oh, well, he's just a kid. He'll get over it. But they didn't want to acknowledge depression or, like, these emotional issues in kids at a young age because they're like, oh, it's just a kid. Whatever. Yeah. So that was, like, a time, like, especially when we were kids, it was like, oh, whatever. Yeah. He'll, he'll get out of it. He'll, he'll grow yeah. out of it. If it, if it didn't manifest in a physical way, they didn't feel the need to, to work on it. Yeah, and they didn't want to talk, especially depression, because they'd be like, oh, he's a kid. He, mm-hmm. he'll, he'll be he'll be happy yeah, he again. doesn't know what that word means yeah and then i didn't know he'll, he'll, he'll be happy tomorrow man either, and i go. found out oh yeah, man. Th- that was just like just a different era so of course they didn't want to acknowledge yeah. his depression yeah so um yeah i got that and then like after that i just fucking try to fucking be as calm as possible try to chill out and over i mean growing up you know you get out of that angst and all that shit yeah and um now I'm here and I'm super funny and I, I <laughs> yeah, we're and, on a show. Yeah, and a lot of other shit happened in my life that, are, that is trauma. But that's I just wanted to give you guys the origin story. <laughs> and wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome to Pub Crew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I don't know, it's, it's been a crazy trip. Honestly, I feel like having the perspective that I have as somebody who who has a really great fucking life but still struggles with mental issues like um it's i feel like it's it's something that i can use to help other people who either might not have that great of a life or really suffer from <laughs> mental issues you know what i mean yeah like um i don't know like shit's been going great in my life i fucking got a job a new job um steady job i should say <laughs> you know <laughs> like actually have steady income um fucking recording shit so much podcast the fucking music like working, yeah, working on a fighting game all that shit like life's great you know like it just so happens that like my brain is not producing the right chemicals you know what i mean i don't make the good feel good juice yeah <laughs> either that or creates too many and it creates like a fucking weird like rush of like you're gonna do everything now and i'm like but i don't have time you're gonna do everything now <laughs> no 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 <laughs> We're gonna do everything. Now. Yeah. <laughs> you you're not understanding everything. Now. Yeah, <laughs> and I run with it, man. Like I t- I make sure to like give myself time to rest, but I run with it, man. Uh, it actually got pretty bad a few weeks ago. I was living like two days at a time. Oh fuck. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, dude. But but I slept like I would sleep for like eight hours, and then I would just stay up for two days, and then I would sleep another eight hours, and then I would just yeah, stay that's up for a two problem. Days. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I fixed that like 
after the week, I was like, I can't keep doing this. <laughs> like, I'm not. <laughs> First of all, I want to sleep more. <laughs> Second of all, this work is going to get done regardless. Of, You're of... over here like, wait a minute. I like sleep. Why am I doing this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, now that I can afford to sleep while I'm in between jobs, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, all that shit. I was like, oh, man, maybe this isn't the way to go about this work. You know what I mean? But it's just like I, I get so much motivation at some point that I'm like, I feel like if I stop doing this, I'm going to lose it. Yeah. No, I, I understand how that works because it's like you it's that mindset where you, you want things to get done because you think you have that control and you want that control. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I can't stop now because it's like you get on that track. Yeah. And you can't you don't want to derail that train because you're now you're like, I, I, I hate to say it, but. Cindy gets mad at me because I do this at work sometimes where there's some times where I don't take a lunch. Oh, and it's not because I was denied. It's just I get stubborn like that, where if I'm working on something, I can f- I know I'm going to finish it and it's going to get done. I don't want to lose the momentum. Yeah. And I get stuck in my ways where it could be like a long ass fucking job. I could be out there for a few hours already and I'm still got like a couple hours ahead of me because I still got to do all this other shit. And it's like, like people tell me, oh, just go to lunch, dude. And I'm like, I hate going to lunch while I'm on a ticket because mm-hmm. I'd rather just get it done. Yeah, because like, why would I want to come back to the same place? You know yeah, what I mean? I'm, I'm already in the shit. Yeah. I'm already deep in the shit. Yeah. Why am I going to walk away, come back when it's like, but at the same time, I understand what they're saying. There's no rush. Mm-hmm. Like, it's going to get done. Yeah. And I understand that. It's just, I get stuck like that or no, fuck it. And then I get to the point where I'm like, oh, well, I'm not as hungry anymore. I'll just keep working. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, I immediately hate it. <laughs> yeah, because you, you stop, like, being in work mode where you're like, okay, mm-hmm. now I can relax. Oh, shit. And then your body, <laughs> my body's like, hey, asshole. <laughs> yeah, you've been neglecting your fucking <laughs> bodily functions, dude. Yeah, it's like, hey, uh, you need a shit, but you haven't eaten anything. <laughs> <laughs> Figure that one out. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah. It's a problem. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But yeah, it's, it's super crazy. Uh, we were actually going to talk about the 15 beers, craft beers. Oh, shit. <laughs> of, we had a list. Of, of the U.S. <laughs> uh, but we hope you enjoyed this more intimate and sort of uh, introspective show. We um, probably have like 10 minutes, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. If, I feel like it's a lot of topics. We could just save that for oh, another yeah, you're episode. Right. You're right. I was like, to be honest with you. Be like I don't want it to like be seven. Victor poured his heart out, like that's already poured, poured like p like capitalized. P- yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like, got it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want it to be Victor poured his heart out and also the top fifteen beers of like <laughs> nice little slash in that title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have enough characters in the in the title box. <laughs> no one's gonna read that fucking title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I had fun. Yeah, no, it was fun. Yeah, it was good. It's healthy. It's healthy. Yeah, definitely. It, it's. I feel like I've definitely gotten a lot more open about it, and gotten to the point where I feel like the more that I talk about it, and the the more open I am with it, it. Yeah, it might weird some people out, but some people who are suffering and they're like doing it silently, that they're like, you know what, like maybe like like i know i'm not alone in this but like wow this person's talking about it and maybe i should like hearing it helps yeah like, no oh shit okay yeah like and yeah and you like, don't you don't have to do it alone mm-hmm. you're not in it alone yeah and like it, you can go about it the, the way that you want you know if you need help like you can um try it like a lot of people try to do like self-help books a lot of people try to do yeah. like positivity stuff a lot of people actually like go to psychiatrists and they they talk to somebody uh some people um do medicine you know like that's what i'm doing right now and i'm seeing a psychologist and shit some people meditate yeah meditation helps as well like Mm -hmm. anything anything that you think is going to help you probably will yeah because you'll feel good as a result of doing it unless it's like hardcore drugs because i fucking i knew some some asshole was going to be like well what about like heroin you, you know what I mean? If it's good for you and you think you should do it, then you, it'll probably make you it's feel like, a whole lot better. It's like saying, I need to stop smoking 
so my lungs will be better. So I'll do crack instead. Yeah. <laughs> it is, don't do crack. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, well I, I just found this other drug. Yeah. <laughs> Not fucking up my lungs, yeah. but it's wrecking everything else. <laughs> but my lungs are and doing even better. Even more of like a comparison. I'm going to say this and some people are going to hate me, but like it's like quitting smoking like cigarettes to go smoke weed. Like you're still inhaling fumes. It's one. It's one vice for another yeah. vice. It's pretty much what that comes down to. Yeah. Like I, I know weed's not as bad, obviously. Like there's definitely more benefits, but at the same time, you just traded one vice for another. Yeah, and it's still inhaling raw fucking combustion. Yeah. Like, it, like some people are like, well, I use the wick lighter, so it doesn't give me the butane. It's and I'm not like, even it's the still fire, dude. <laughs> like, you, you know, carbon is carbon, right? Yeah. Carbon is carbon is carbon. Yeah. <laughs> You're still inhaling that. You're shit. made out of carbon, <laughs> and it's bad for you. What does that tell you? <laughs> yeah, like, it, like I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, you're, it's still smoke. Like, it's, it's still. <laughs> There's yeah. still some downside yeah, to it. Yeah, I know. It, it's, it's just some dumb thing that I wanted to add on there at the end because, like, oh, man, that pisses me off so much. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very much of a person, like, people can do whatever they want. You know, people yeah. are, if you're sane of sound mind, you know, like, go do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting others. And if you're of sane and sound mind, you usually won't harm others. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, But... My God, people are just fucking God. People, <laughs> people, people like yeah. you, people like you, and people like me. Well, I'm actually <laughs> kind of fucking fucked up, so <laughs> I don't count in the <laughs> I'm just safe a, and sound. I'm mind. kind of a beautiful tragedy over yeah, here. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Oh, dude, did we talk about uh, Vila Valo making music on the show? I think a while back oh, okay. we mentioned because it hadn't dropped yet. Oh yeah, I don't think yeah. we ever talked about it because it dropped by now. We've obviously yeah. we've heard it, but and he's on tour now. Yeah, that's what I was gonna talk about, man. It'd be fucking cool. Um, I know it's like a is it a world tour? Yeah. So I know it's probably gonna be like L.A. or Austin or fucking Denver so or some shit. Yeah. So far, yeah, it's like a lot of the major cities. But I don't know if he's cool. coming here. But it'd be cool. It'd be a band that I've always wanted to see. Well, I mean, a person of a band that I've want I've always wanted to see, like um. Like, a lot of Finnish bands and a lot of, like, European bands that I listen to, like, I knew they were never going to go to El Paso, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, like being able to, like, see them now, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'm down. Like, yeah. I'm down to fucking make a trip out of this. That'd be super cool. I saw him the one, and I think only time they ever came to El Paso years yeah, ago. Yeah, like. To Club Blue, when it was still around. Oh, man. Yeah. Shit was, was crazy. Yeah. It was cool. I didn't though. go, but, like, I remember that place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was the only time I ever went. And I was still a kid. Kid, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Let us know about your trauma as a kid in the <laughs> comments below. Thank you for joining us, guys. Um, be safe. Take care of yourself. Drink water. You know, we love you. Like, thank you for listening. We re do appreciate it. Don't be afraid to reach out. Yeah, definitely. I'll fucking just leave, like, suicide depression hotline on the, in the description so people know. Like yeah. We got real this episode. <laughs> we we actually did, yeah. and that that was inadvertently. We got <laughs> real. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. All the shit. It all started off with a kiss. How did it end, end up, up like, like this? this. <laughs> but on a serious oh, note, man. yeah, guys, don't be afraid to reach out. Yeah, and someone's, if it, someone's willing to listen, someone's willing to help. Mm -hmm. And if you use comedy as a deflection, like I do, get help. <laughs> Seriously, it helps out a lot. It helps to separate. The the self deprecating jokes that you're making with actual comedy that you want to make, yeah, you know, because self deprecating jokes can only take you so far. People are only going to pity you for as long as they care. You know what I mean? After that, it's like, oh, this guy's making like jokes about himself again. Like, oh, fuck, man, like cut it out. Like, you yeah. know, it's just been my experience. From me to you, get help. If you see somebody who needs help, maybe talk to them about it. Like, be honest, have a honest and just be there. Open conversation. Yeah, just yeah. Have, have some discourse. Just be there for them. That's the best thing you can do. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. But take care, y'all. Thank you. I'm going to go cry. <laughs> oh, man. But it's not about that. It's because, like, can I say it? What? That I'm best man. Fuck. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> well, I can cut it out. I can cut it out. Right. Well, C fuck. You said it. Can I say it? Say what? I'm Mr. Black. <laughs> Mr. Black. Oh man.
But yeah, no, happy yeah, I mean, tears. Good. Hell yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> I mean, Cynthia only like <laughs> put it out for everybody. Uh, that's true. Oh man, that was super funny. But yeah, no, yeah, happy tears. Super great. But I'm best man, and I've always wanted to fucking celebrate these people's loves because they've been together for a while. It's super dope. Um, as I've been told, it's about damn time. <laughs> from like everybody. From from everybody seems, seems to be the slogan around here. Yeah. That's cool. I feel like it's just because everybody knew. Yeah. They're like, yeah, this shit's going to last. Like, they're both fucking nerdy. They're like, well, fuck, people. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, take care, y'all. Fucking peace out. Be safe. Bye-bye.